Hi guys, we have a full moon coming up on September 29th. The full moon is going to be in the first house energy, Aries. Aries, yes. So guys, <laughs> what this energy is bringing in this full moon, the illumination of this full moon is, it's a time of starting over. Uh -huh. It's also a time of maybe a little bit of wanting to act a little bit wildly yes but be be cautious because guys the wildness that's motivating it is fury it's fire energy uh and it can also set off some energy of you versus me i'm going we're going to get some revenge we're going to go into battle uh that kind of thing uh because it's the fiery energies of aries yes let's read a little bit more on this guys and, and i use the moonology diary yes it's a good one too y'all mm -hmm. says at this time at the time of this full moon the planet of love and abundance venus is clashing with the planet of chaos and unpredictability uranus uh-huh so all bets are off when it comes to saying exactly how everything is going to play out yes the fact that we've got a, a aquarius uranus <laughs> energy popping in that is a liberation a liberating i don't want to be bound kind of energy uh so if you've been experiencing um especially since our north and south nodes have switched if you've been experiencing and having undercurrents of you really wanting to liberate yourself from something address something that you feel is just you know just a little bit too confining for you or um working against you uh, this moon is going to bring up the urge, that urge of liberation from situations and people is going to be amped up and fired up within us. Thus, I said the acting out wildly. Be cautious because what's motivating it is fire, fury and fire burning underneath that energy. Yes. So, guys, let's jump in. We are using... Uh, star or rising signs for our moon readings if you don't know what your rising sign is you can do um, quick google on free birth charts uh, and find out what your uh, star or rising sign is uh, so let's jump in Taurus guys y'all's 12th house is being stirred during this full moon in Aries. Mm -hmm. 12th house energy for Taurus. Woo, guys. 12th house energy is all the unseen, the mystery, the hidden parts of ourself. It's consider it holds fears, our deepest, darkest fears, things like that. But it's a house of undoing self think of it as alchemy <laughs> transmutation not just transformation but transmuting things a lot of times uh, we think of a change occurs here but not so much change as we redefine things in the 12th house um, spirituality our way of thinking and believing uh, seems to alter and gets redefined and uh, polished so to say um so because change work for any of my earth energies it's like no let's don't do change it's more of a trans transmutation of things for us uh, for most of us um this house is during this time because it's aries energy it's going to be bringing out a, from one spectrum it could make us very self-critical it could have us shown bring to the surface things we absolutely just don't like about ourselves, and that uh we want to change but it can also show unrealistic demands and expectations that we place on ourselves and how we're defining ourselves. 
Uh, just know that uh, the undoing of self happens in the 12th house, which incorporates uh, escapism. I won't change. And that's something you're going to probably feel pretty heavy during this time. I think most of us are going to sell through this uh, al alchemical house of transmuting things uh, because we're coming in on the heels of uh, the equinox, the changing of the seasons. Uh, that's going to help because this house will have you wanting to change things about self about your daily life is sitting across from the sixth house which incorporates your daily routines rote routines that you might feel like are just a grind it's boring it's no excitement to it so like i said either either we're going to be really down in ourselves, or we're going to feel a, an anticipation of allowing ourselves to unfold to transmute and bring in different different for ourselves something that feels new fresh and alive for ourselves so let's jump into your reading let's start with the uh, numerology and see what's going to come out during this time for my Taurus Taurus And it is a very cre a time of creativity, guys, because it's pinging your Pisces energy of I want to make some dreams come true. I want some. I want to bring those dreams out of the ether and make them real. We've got moderation. So during this time, uh, yeah, temperance. <laughs> Mo moderate a little bit because you know part of the energy is wanting to act in a different wild way. Uh huh. And you know do it but do it in moderation no regrets uh after the full moon yes and we've got self-love learning self-love yeah like i said uh, the fact is pinging in your 12th house you're going to have issues of everything you don't like about yourself is going to start coming up everything you think you're boring on or you're wrote in or you know just the way you judge yourself uh, is coming to the surface uh, during this time we also have our north node on a collective level in that aries energy oh yeah use moderation uh, keyword that is come coming out right now is escapism uh wanting to do something different you can see don't jump if there's a shark stop stop and really consider um choices and actions you may be feeling ur an urge to act upon what else we've got keep dancing oh i love the moonlight keep dancing guys moderation yeah change is good it's good but not in a drastic way to where like i said you wake up after the <laughs> full moon energy is off of us and go wow what was wrong with me why did I do all that? <laughs> ah, let's see your uh, personal moon energy. Personal moon energy for my Taurus right now. See what's coming out. What advice are we getting? Oh, pop. Oh, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears diving into the deep and like i said we do have stuff coming from that 12th house uh y'all know pisces energy is actually the motion of the ocean that that king cup sits in so we've got some rocking stuff coming to the surface everything's being stirred from the surface the subconscious uh -huh. new moon work through that stuff and yeah don't don't worry so much about making drastic changes as do the alchemy small transformations transmutations will benefit you in the long run uh fury climax approaches full moon in aries wow guys we've got some emotions fiery emotions about self coming in um and like i said for the majority of us it's going to start with self uh, we may feel triggered um, over the 
over other people's perception of us, but we've got to realize they're mirroring to us um, our own shadow of our own judgment of ourself. Ooh, and full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. Yes, yes. Mm, I like that one. Let's pull the tarot. We're using the cosmic tarot today. Let's see. Predominant crooks, the energy, core of the matter for my Taurus through this moon cycle. What's going to come out here? Pop. We got a devil card fighting the inner demons and freeing ourselves from some things. Fury energy. What else? We've got strength card. More taming and training the inner and outer beast. Getting a better understanding of things. Uh, seeing things more clearly. Just put down any self, being self-critical and judging of self right now through this time eight of pentacles Ooh, devotion and dedication to work and perfect on something what's above your head we're getting two above your head we've got ace of cups mm -hmm. thinking of love blessings what overflows my cup but we're thinking too much <laughs> yes we got an aquarius energy here uh, not uh, and trying to get clear on what our true passions are Mm, I'm picking up a shadow on this one. I'm going to clarify it in a minute. Okay. Let's keep going. Present moment. We've got lovers. Mm -hmm. Wanting something different. Mm -hmm. Pisces. Uh -huh. Prince of Cups. Energy. 12th house. And Ace of Pentacles. And wanting something different. Totally different. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, just with the lover's card, that lover's card can can represent uh, new relationships, new love coming in, that kind of thing. But it's also about choices, major, unexpected excitement, uh, desire, something that's compelling us. These cards are definitely showing me right now, your energies right now, these three cards are... Everything feels humdrum, boring, the same. Uh -huh. Where's things headed? The Nine of Wands. Okay, let's come up underneath you here. See what we're going to get up under you. A Four Pentacles. Hmm, got two more coming with that one. Let's see what they are. Five of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Ooh, backtracked a four to a five. Wow, and heartache, mending the heartache. I'm not feeling good enough. I've played it small. I've held myself back uh, out of fear and anxiety. I was trying to hold on to something. Okay, let's come back on uh, the Eight of Pentacles because it's showing you've been devoted and dedicated to perfecting something. But what is the thing you're trying to perfect here? Yourself, your ambitions, you're trying to contain the fire within yourself. No wonder the fury climax is coming with this moon. Uh, you've been holding yourself back. You're, what you're truly passionate about, uh, you're trying to change what you're passionate about and make yourself not want what you want. I don't know how else to put it. Not chase after what it is you truly wanting to manifest. It's like I've been playing it small. I've been holding myself back. Let's come in on that Aquarius King. Six of Cups. Hmm. Six of Cups is a card of past. Nostalgia sometimes represents children. But it's also a card of forgiveness. There's five of ones. A lot of chaos. The past has had a lot of chaos in it. Trying to keep structure. Let's put it that way. A structure makes sense out of chaos. And reciprocity. Mm, two of Cups energy. Feeling like that's off. Mm. Let's come in on your Devil card. Let's see what's crossing that Devil card right now. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, doing everything for everyone else. Mm -hmm. But it's also showing me that um, part of you, you, you're doing something on a daily basis. Making yourself that you just are so tired of because you're wanting newness over here 
Um, is it, what I mean is it's indicating you don't really like your job. <laughs> yeah, moon card, but there's fear about letting go of letting go of that or making changes in that area. So it's pushing you to want to change other things in other areas of like God, please, universe, just send me something exciting that will stir my heart, that will manifest something totally different into my life. Hmm. Okay, let's come in on that nine of wands because temperance, moderation, everything in moderation. Okay, down here under under this, this is your pre present energy. Down here is where things are headed. I'm going to read two of swords on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to read from that nine of wands. Anytime you get one element in, you know, in the tarot, you've got them all. Uh-huh, so we're going to read all the nines. Someone else had this one might have been Aries that had it mm -hmm. nine of wands is my energy being wasted on things I cannot change it's a good journal prop <laughs> guys uh, prompt for journal you know journaling uh, to actually consider and, and write these things out it helps us to organize our brain yes in our thoughts and our feelings is my energy being wasted on things I cannot change on a cup level, emotional level, do my intentions align with the highest, best for all? This is showing me that yes, you, but you um, took yourself out of the equation of all, best for all, because you're doing everything you seem to be doing here is what you think is best for the people in your life. Mm -hmm. Swords in your thoughts is self-doubt or worry or fear holding me back from shining my light. Mm. More than likely, yes, we picked up the moon. Uh, so, yeah, pentacles on earthly matters to what we're wanting something tangibly different. Is it possible that self-doubt leads to dissatisfaction? Your self-doubt, your lack of confidence to make transformation transmutation and change happen the self-doubt you got going on because uh bottom of the deck is showing you at a crossroad you've been at a crossroad for a while that's the battle between the head and the heart thinking things either have to be this or that and not seeing that there's other opportunities available to you and we need rest and to get things straight uh, this is a card of healing, but it's also quiet in your mind so you can get clear directive of what to do. Because we're tired. We're wanting to change. Big time wanting to change. Uh -huh. Emperor energy, but the emperor, emperor part of ourself is demanding us to stay structured and that we need to be structured. Don't be wild. Don't be irresponsible. Yep. Look up under him, the fool. There's part of you that wants to take a leap of faith, and you're going, nope, you can't do it. But you, it's time, guys. It's time. Uh -huh. We're trying to structure our way through. Doing a lot in our heads because we got that uh, Aquarius King of Swords sitting above us in our thoughts. We want things that feel like there's reciprocity, that we're getting something back because we may be feeling like our cup is just empty. That Ace of Cups, I want something that fills my cup up, whether it's a relationship, a job, or whatever, because we're tired. We're tired. What The only thing we've had in the past is chaos and confusion and an unbalanced Two of Cups. Yes. The, thus the send me something exciting that's going to going to get me going in a new direction newness the excitement mm -hmm. all things in moderation during this time let's go ahead and pull you a cosmic journey but Ooh, we might need to talk a little bit more let's do that before I do this guys because this is the advice from higher self. Let me get the steampunk tarot for us. Because we are playing small. We've been holding on. We need to heal our heart on a personal level. 
the way we think about ourselves, the way we're judging ourselves, it's not what other people have done to us, but it's more about what we have done to ourselves in the past, what we've accepted and held, played small on in the past. Page of Cups, being emotionally vulnerable right now is perfectly fine. Seven of Wands, feeling pressured, stand your ground. Yeah, uh huh. What else? A Four of Wands. Standing up for yourself. Bottom of the deck. The chariot. You've been back and forth. This is a long-term battle for you. And there you are, King of Pentacles. I need to keep the structure. But we are definitely wanting something different. And the more we stay in this energy and don't allow the change to happen, uh, it's, it's not helping us to... How do I put it? Come out of the battle. Mm -hmm. It's up under our hermit card. Because that hermit is wanting to withdraw. Wanting to pull away from everything. We need something to bring us back to life. The judgment. Mm -hmm. The full card. Quit judging yourself for the things you're wanting. You, ooh, the nine of wands is upside down. Mm -hmm. Another nine of wands. Full card. Can't allow myself. To take the chance. I'm, I'm in a battle here. I'm wasting my time. Page of Wands. Fire is coming coming up on us guys. For real. Uh, the more we keep doing what we are doing. And don't allow ourselves to take a chance. Uh, to have a little bit of a risk. Uh, it's going to pull us further and further into ourselves and away from wanting to engage. If we're if we're married, we're not going we're not going to want to be even in the marriage <laughs> job. I'm not even want to go to work. It it will keep spiraling deeper and deeper until you stand up and acknowledge and be brave. The full card is your biggest card right now coming out. It's allow yourself to take a risk, a chance to do something different. Enter one step forward, one step onward. Yes. Allow the excitement to, to come in. But you and trust, you already know moderation. You already know how to moderate yourself. Trust and act accordingly. Mm -hmm. Divine dragon. Yes, don't eat yourself. Because <laughs> for real. Uh, sometimes that dragon doesn't realize it's eating, eating itself. It's dis uh, becoming destructive on itself. But it, it is a time of renewal for you. Wanted universe creators. Yes. Allow yourself to come out. To emerge. Mm. Let's do you a... What is this? Sword of Light Oracle. And like I said, guys, the fact that the, this uh, illumination, this full moon is coming on the heels of the equinox, that's going to help because on a collective level, we can feel that energy in everyone, the shifting of the seasons. It brings us out of the old So. Get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine. So take back your power. Yes. Don't worry about uh, cutting too loose that I'll have regrets. I'll be embarrassed if I try something new. Try it. You won't be embarrassed. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. One more here. Be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. Ooh, yes. Share yourself. And like I said, if we don't do, you know, allow ourselves to do that full during this time, it's going, to, it's going to pull us deeper into the Virgo Hermit energy of withdrawal from everything, wanting to withdraw from everything. I hope it was helpful, Taurus. Y'all allow yourself to be blessed today.